Hi, I'm Abby and I own Abiel's Artful Abode in Poolsville, Washington. And I have been a treasure hunter my whole life, um, even before I was born because my mom loves to go to garage sales and thrift stores. Um, and I'm doing this thrift haul, garage sale, estate sale haul video, mainly because I'm totally obsessed with um, YouTubers who do their reveals and their hauls of all the goodies that they find. And since I'm constantly shopping, because I'm also obsessed with shopping, I thought I would share some of the amazing stuff that I have found this week. Um, specifically today, and I just scored some amazing stuff. This um, lady had some style, man. She had style. Uh, she traveled all over the world. So she had stuff from Asia and Mexico and um, Japan. And she was also an artist. So I actually um, got some of her original watercolors, which I thought was super cool. Um, and just a little bit of everything, mostly boho and some mid-century modern stuff. So if you're totally into boho stuff, I think you're going to love this haul. It's so cool. All right. So let's just get right into it. So first up, I got this teak ice bucket. Um, and I mean, is this just so cool? This was made in Japan, actually. It looks really Danish, but it's made in Japan. I just think it would be an amazing um, accessory for a bar cart or a bar. Let's see, what else? Here's one of her original watercolors. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful so originally this actually has a price tag this hung in a gallery so it has a price tag of 450 dollars so i'm not going to price it at that because i think our prices are pretty reasonable but um anyways i just thought this was absolutely stunning next up um, she was really, she had, apparently she was a hoarder, but the house was pretty cleared out. So I, it would have been awesome to go when it actually, everything was still in there. Um, but she liked certain, she liked to collect certain things. So she had a lot of stools. So I actually picked up at least three or four stools, but look at this cutie right here. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Ah! So this would be so cute, like in a bathroom, or you can use it. I think she probably used them as plant stands, so you could use it as a plant stand. But oh my God, it's so cute. So this, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna put it on Etsy or not. It may just go directly to the store. Um, because besides owning Abigail's Artful Abode, I also have an Etsy shop. All right, on my way out the door, um, she did. She was looking for change, and I said, just round it up to $160 is what I paid for all this great stuff. But um, I said, just throw this in and just keep the change. But, <laughs> is that so cool? I have never seen like a mid-century um fireplace set it's a fireplace set but look at that oh my god that is so mid-century so this i think for sure is going to go on etsy because it's such an unusual piece and people still have fireplaces so where are you going to find like vintage mid-century modern fireplace tools so after i had a minute i went online to take a look at to see if I could find these. And they're actually Pearson mid-century modern fireplace tools. And I saw one listing and they were $12.99. That's $1,299. And another set were $499. So this was quite the score. So let's see, what else do I have? Okay, this these, these suckers are so heavy. <coughs> 
Thank God I left furniture for a living because these are super heavy. This is, is that not amazing? Oh my gosh, for all you boho lovers that are into those like um, warm tones of orange and russet and cream. I mean, it's got all the, it's got all the boho vibes you could possibly want. So this sucker obviously is going into the store because I am not shipping this. It weighs a ton. And here's another one that's super heavy. So this one's also very, very cool, right? Um, and I think this is also like an older piece. The other one was definitely an older piece. Uh, this is also going into the store. Oh, so let me set that down. Woo. So this was another amazing score that I was able to find some information on. It is actually a farmhouse Chinese pottery jug that was used in everyday living. And there was a couple that I found and each one was up to $500. So there was one for $2.99 and I think one for like $4.99. So that was an amazing score. Then she also collected baskets. So um, I'll show you some of the other bigger baskets in a minute, but um, I got this cool one. Cute. Is that not cute? Oh my gosh. Like you could put it on your dresser, put all your like jewelry in it. You could hang it on a wall. So many things you can do with this little piece. And this one's just kind of simple. I don't know why I liked it. I thought it was cute. And I think somebody else will think it's cute too. And this one is actually bamboo. I can't tell if it's vintage or not. Uh, but it's just got like this plastic insert in here. And I guess you could like paint that if you wanted to. But what I liked about it was that it's bamboo. I have a thing for bamboo stuff. All right, let's see what else. I'm pulling stuff over. All right. So I actually picked up the other thing she really liked, as you saw uh, right before, is she loved ceramics and pottery. She, the woman loved her ceramics. So I got a ton of ceramics. I mean, these colors, I, you know, I'm really starting to dig these ceramics. I mean, I'm so old that uh, <laughs> I remember when these originally were made, but these are probably from the 60s, you know, 70s. I mean, the woman, her, her daughter looked like she was like 70. So I couldn't even, I think the grandma was like at least 90. All right, so here's another one. All the brown vibes. And then this one is actually really cool. It's signed. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to look it up. I mean, I literally just got home and went right into this video. Um, but, for, you know, so for those boho lovers, you know, you have those that love like their warm browns and oranges and russets. And then you have uh, people that are more on the blush side of boho. And so uh, I think this vase is amazing. And obviously it was used. So anyways, super cool. Uh, let's see what else. So I have a couple of, uh, actually more than a couple, because I'm not going to show you everything I found this week. There's so much of it, but I never fail to pick up brass whenever I find it. So this one's so cute. I mean, you could literally polish that up and you could serve olives on it. Again, you could put it in your bathroom and put some little odds and ends in there. Um, or you could use it as like a little vase, actually float a flower in there. So cute. And this is a vase. So I love brass. 
I'm so glad it's back in style. For a long time, brass was not in style, and now brass is everywhere. And so anytime we bring brass into the store, it always sells. So those, a uh, couple of those will be listed on Etsy. Same with the pottery, as long as it's not huge and he super heavy, I'll go ahead and list them. But it's gonna take me a while because I bought so much. This is a really interesting piece um, because it's got like these like, can you see that? It's like ribbons of ceramic around it. And I just kind of love the shape. It's very organic looking. And then this little cutie, I mean, just one little flower is all it needs. So super cute. I got, we have people that love to come in and buy jewelry. Again, this lady had, um, this woman had some style. I mean, she must have been like, herself a true bohemian because she just had like this super cool jewelry look at this one like that is super long but isn't that cool so this these are called jet and you can see like it's super shiny right you don't find them all very often you'll see them at antique stores and stuff but you know they used to wear jet all the way back in the to, to the Victorian era era and then these I don't know if these are silver or not but I'm gonna check that out um I only got one little brooch but brooch brooch I don't know how to say it but I thought it was super colorful and I liked it and then like this little mahjong thing oh little mahjong mahjong bracelet so pile of jewelry like look at this one I mean <laughs> you you are it girl if you can pull off a necklace like that I I had to buy it so these will go into the store um and of course you know we'll ship anywhere well not anywhere we like to only ship in the U.S. Um, but if you see something you like, just let me know. I mean, look at that. That's cool. This one's missing. It must have had something there, but you know, I don't care. I mean, look at those little, little big, big beads, you know, and that kind of medallion. So cool. Let's see what else we, oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. They look like abacus abacus beads wow and this is called um i don't know if you can see that this is called cinnabar and it's like red carved is it wood i don't know but this also has a uh, has multiple cinnabar beads and these brass beads so cool this one i loved because it has um, a firefly on it. Not a firefly, Ugh, what are these called? Damn it, my words run away from me. <laughs> um, this I like very, very 70s. Very cool, look at that choker. Is that just coolness personified? I'm telling you, I mean, that this, I wish I could have met this woman in person because the lady had some style, man. I got these uh, super cool combs. Apparently she traveled to uh, Japan often. So I just loved them. I thought they were really ornate, very different. And I don't know if they're meant to just like hold your bun together, um, but I thought they were cute. Then, um, okay, so here's another basket. It is big, look at that. But wouldn't that just be cool? This would actually be really cool in a baby's room right to hold baby's toys and stuff so i thought that was just an unusual basket that's going into the store for sure 
than this beauty I totally fell in love with. So it's got these butterflies. It is vintage, probably from the 70s. It's got a note in the back. I can't read it right now. I don't have my glasses on, but just cute. I want to see this styled in somebody's house. All right, let's see what else we have. I thought this one had very much of a mid-century modern vibe. And so I just had to grab this. Um, see, I mean, it looks very stylized, right? It's a big reindeer or a big buck. That's what I, that's what I meant to say. Um, and then another brass piece, this camel, which is also a candle holder, right? Candlestick. So cute. Another brass thing still has the wax in it. So this needs to be cleaned up before uh, it gets listed. So little things like that. I'm always glad to list on Etsy um, because shipping isn't a hassle um, as far as like getting them shipped off to people. I don't know if this one originally had a lid or not, but I love, I just like the simplicity of it. It's just very minimal brown for you girls that love your brown stuff. And then this one is also marked. Again, she traveled to Japan quite a bit, I guess, in Asia. And so this she probably brought back because it is, it does have an Asian marking on it. There's another piece you probably got in Asia. I've never seen one of these. So I get the feeling that people actually put birds in here. And the reason I say that is because you see those little, what do you call these? I'm gonna call them poles, but they're not poles. But you see how this slides back? Can you see that? Oh my God, is that amazing? So I could just totally see like this little Japanese lady walking down the street, carrying her little bird. Hopefully they didn't eat the birds. More and more pottery. So again, I love this kind of like fluted handle. Um, and this definitely is a great serving piece. And this one, again, just so simple, so pretty, so organic. It's even painted on the inside and this one is marked. Another one. So yeah, so these are definitely like kitchen items because here's the second one. So maybe there was a, a there was more of them and I only found that one. I got a reclining Buddha. So I actually saw the real reclining Buddha when I was in Thailand. He is gigantic, huge, huge gold Buddha. And if you ever are scrolling through my Facebook page, you can actually scroll all the way back to last January when I was in um, Thailand and Vietnam and you can actually see a picture of the gold and it's gold, gold reclining Buddha. This I'm keeping for myself. It's not old, but it's just so cute. I love it. It's for rings, I think. Let's see what else. I thought this was cute. It's just a little bamboo um, tray. She had like her notebooks and her mail on it. And so I made her remove all that stuff so I could pull it away. All right, let me see what else we got here. I got this um, beautiful, gosh, I don't know if it's like a piano shawl but it's just gorgeous. It's wool. I mean, it's beautiful. I would not, I would probably put this like over a couch, right? Or a table, but I wouldn't eat on it. But it's gorgeous. It's wool and everything. 
I don't know if it's got a tag on it or not. All right, let's see what else. Then I got more brass. So these, oh, I didn't even see that. So I, all I saw was that, but there you see, I think they're cop, cop fighting, or no, maybe, I'm not quite sure what they are. They look like roosters to me, but I just thought they were super cool. All right, what else do we got? Something she probably got brought back from Asia. It's a little geisha, right? I just love the colors. This kind of blue is so pretty, almost a Tiffany blue. And then these watercolors, which I think she probably did. They're in that same style. Again, I I just think they're gorgeous. She had more watercolors, but they weren't framed. And, you know, honestly, I got so much on my plate that I'm probably not going to take the time to frame anything. Um, and then, this is funny. This is just like a one-off because it's... Um, it's uh, not her genre of decorating, but I did get that here. So the silhouette, and it's a, it's in a, it's a bubble, it's bubble glass. So for those of you that love like more traditional antiques, I thought that was cute. And you know, at Abigail's, we run the gamut. So we carry mid-century modern, and we carry boho, and we carry. So a little bit of farmhouse, not a lot, because I think there's plenty of people that do farmhouse and they do a good job at it. Um, but what I try to look for is things that are, sorry, I gotta stretch my legs. Things that are like unusual and different. And so that's why I had so much fun at this particular sale because there was just, she was eclectic. I could say that and I love eclectic. So here you have like this jug, again, for you boho girls. It does have a tiny little chip right there, but who cares? I mean, it's amazing. Look at that. You have that kind of ombre look in the glaze. All right, let me set that down. And then here is this basket. <gasps> pretty and this feels like bamboo like skinny bamboo or some type of bamboo anyways oh gosh is that so cool awesome all right and then i thought this was really different it's in great condition and i think Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they used to put wine in here, like it's a wine jug. And I'm looking at it, I can't tell if it's really old or not, but it's really well done. And so there, all the, the rattan is in perfect condition. So I thought, very decorative like this is just a decorative great decorative piece all right so i'm gonna get up when i asked her how much she wanted she said 10 bucks oh my god look i couldn't get a really good shot of this wicker shelf so here's a better picture there's just one last thing. I didn't get it at this sale. And next week I'll have a different haul video, but I have to show you this particular painting. There is something I really loved about this painting that I think somebody else will too. It definitely has mid-century modern vibes, but All it right. can also go so in again, a traditional home. I'm All right, so again, I'm Abigail, and I own Abigail's Artful Abode, and I also have an Etsy shop with the same name, so let me know if you like this video. I got a little hair, like cowlick, um, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Um, 
I'm gonna try to do one every week. We'll see how that goes, but um, I'm hoping to commit to at least one a week. All right, talk to you later, bye.